It's illegal in much of this country, but certain states, including Kentucky, allow registered Native American churches to use oklava as a sacrament. It's one at the churches in Berea that investigators say a 33-year-old South Carolina woman died on Saturday. And now there are questions about what led to her death, as Garrett Weimer shows us, about a spiritual practice that brings people to the Commonwealth from across this country. There is no sign, not much to draw attention to the place. In fact, if it weren't for the big glass windows offering a small glimpse inside, you might not even know what's here. I know them to be good-hearted people. I know them to be honest people, uh, helpful people. Aaron Stewart Lewis Knapp lives next door to the Oklava Native American Church of the Peaceful Mountain Way. He says he's seen person after person seek spiritual enlightenment there. On Saturday, though, he saw ambulances. They seemed to be doing CPR on a woman, and uh, there was a couple people standing out front. All the neighbors came down, and we were just trying to figure out what was going on. The coroner says 33-year-old Lindsey Poole from South Carolina died at the church. Investigators have not said why. Just because it is active, and, and we want to make sure that we do the best investigation that we can, and make sure that we put all the puzzle pieces together before we put information out. The situation may now thrust into the spotlight a spiritual practice that brings people from all over the country right here to Kentucky. The church's website says it offers ayahuasca ceremonies. I would like you to step forward and take your first cup. This is one at a Native American church in Campbellsville. Users say the hallucinogenic tea brings enlightenment, but experts say there are risks. The problems it could cause are dangerously high temperatures, dangerously high blood pressures, arrhythmias, seizures, and death. That's really the bottom line. In Berea, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. And a woman who attends Sunday services at the Peaceful Mountain Way on Chestnut Street tells us the man who leads the church was devastated by what happened. Police say that no charges have been filed.